The biggest organ on your body is the skin, and it's the same for the F-22, and it gets cuts just like me and you do. You have to fix it, or else the, the LO, the stealth, won't work properly. The pilot might not survive. We have a specific team that goes out every night after the jets come down, and they'll spend 45 minutes pretty much just crawling all over the jet, We're looking for new damages, looking for anything that's gotten bigger. If they find something bigger that has to get towed in right now, it might ground the jet until we fix it. We maintain the mission by keeping the jets stealthy. It consists of picking panels, to painting, to sanding, to using sealants. There's always work to be done. Most times these jets will, will fly and nobody even know they're there because of the LO. When it goes on a mission and it comes back and they said they didn't even see us, that's awesome. Just because we're doing our job correctly. The mission is stealth. AIM-9 are heat-seeking missiles. Newer, updated technology. Um, it really gives the pilots a lot more capability as far as tracking targets at further distances and being able to uh, take them out. Eject at 345 traffic, two miles. The way it's built, it's actually a safer missile than the AIM-9M. Uh, AIM-9M might see a heat signature, but it doesn't follow it like it should be. So it might, hey, oh, there you are, but then it loses it, where the 9X is like, I got you, and it continues on. Um, significant improvements in that for the pilot's capability and what they can do. He's going to have a higher probability of hitting his target if the, the seeker head is actually tracking clearly where the target is. You can hit a target at a longer distance means that you keep a longer safety buffer between you and, you know, and an enemy.
under any conditions anywhere in the world.